Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. We are a couple of weeks removed from the latest balance patch, and I think there is a good chance we're gonna hear about the next one this week as the meta is struggling from a lack of diversity and there's just a lot of outcry for a lot of changes. So we're gonna go over what I feel should get changed in the next balance patch. But before we get into that, I want to announce our giveaway winners. As promised today, I'm giving away $300 worth of Hearthstone packs out of my pocket to these three winners. They'll each be receiving $100 worth of Hearthstone packs if I don't hear from them within 24 hours, I will get them to somebody else. And a reminder, we're just about 500 subs away from 58,000. And if we hit that milestone, we'll have an even bigger and better giveaway. So hit that sub button. Make me go broke. But again, thank you guys so much for all the support. The growth continues to be insane. You guys are awesome. And I'm glad that I can give at least a little bit back. Maybe I'll even be able to give back some runestones when that goes live. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to that. Anyways, taking a look at like the top 1000 legend meta, you can kind of see this meta is not very diverse. We've got Druid, we got Mage, we got Rogue, and a tiny little bit of like Warlock and Priest as well. There's very little. We have no Demon Hunter, no Paladin, Warrior and Shaman continues to fall off even hunter is becoming pretty irrelevant so so instead of discussing anything getting buffed because let's be real the buffs typically don't do a lot what is a hell of a lot more impactful is nerfs and i feel like there are significant outliers for pretty much all these classes to get dialed back starting off obviously with rogue rogue is what dictates the meta right it's between rogue and druid and rogue basically locks out any other board based strategy early game is unmatched and their ability to high roll gigantic stats in the early game with a card like Edwin, which recently got buffed, basically makes it so very few decks can ever answer that board state without just killing them quicker. So to allow other decks to breathe, especially board-based decks, I think Rogue needs multiple adjustments. And first is Edwin. We, we, I think we all can agree this card should have never been buffed in the first place. Creates blowouts extremely early. And when coupled with Shadow Step, it's basically two mana buff. As instead of spending four and two mana on Edwin, you're spending three and one with the Shadow Step. At the at the very least, I think it should just go back to four, be a very powerful card. Hell was in rank one legend list even before it got buffed. And I think rogue players will still have a lot of fun spamming Edwin. It just won't be quite as broken. The card that concerns me more than Edwin has honestly been Wild Paw Null, which earlier this year got buffed from being a six mana three five to a five mana four five, and then nerfed back to five mana three five. And I feel like it's just the card that keeps locking out every board based deck because of its interaction with Maestra. And I personally feel like this card's lame. This card is supposed to be a burgle payoff, but you literally just play it with Maestra and it's zero mana on turn two and three with the tradable or Shroud of Concealment. That is just not the spirit of the card in my opinion. So I would love for it to change. I would actually revert it back to a four or five. However, I would say it would cost one less for each non-rogue class card in your hand, meaning that it only gets discount if you actually put real burgle cards from other classes and not just cheese it with maestra and you can give it back its aggressive stat line and all of that because it's not going to come down at zero mana quite as fast actually is a burgle card and not just this ridiculous cheese card mage is another class that i feel is relatively problematic one of the big reasons being magister dawngrass this card in itself is just a win condition you see it run in big spell mage where they don't even want run a single wildfire a buff or anything but the hero power to me on dawngrass just scales too quickly i wouldn't just drastically nerf this card i wouldn't put it back to eight mana however i would love to see the honorable kill gain plus one damage so it just doesn't scale so ridiculously quickly that you're getting fireballed for like two mana on turn eight it's just too much damage for almost any deck to realistically compete against but i think if you just notch the scaling back down a little bit i think the card is still reasonable but not outright you're you're gonna lose the game because they play dawn grass another big frustration with mage is just being frozen over and over and over again there are a lot of freeze cards and it's really hard to kind of address this issue but i do think if they would go back to what they originally envisioned night cloak sanctum to be have true durability that's two less freezes between the two locations and that's a lot less frustration for the opponent still a very good card in my opinion but i do think the three durability is a bit of overkill and who likes having their stuff frozen every single turn which is likely still probably 
probably gonna happen regardless, but at least it would help dial it down at least just a little bit. Druid is another class that people just cannot stand, and I think it's time. It is time for my man, my, my, I love Wild Heart Guff. I love Guff, I got a Twitch emote about him, but it's time for Guff not to die. I did tweet out the other day, just, just F and kill him, but I was just tilted and also just, you know, the meme, it's, it's solid. But I do think Wild Heart Guff is just too, ridiculous at five it just is too ridiculous it has the highest mulligan win rate or at least i think it's really close with belinda which that whole big spell mage is literally built around that card guff is just a card in your deck that's five mana and it just it basically wins the game when it's in your opening hand and i wouldn't kill the card i don't think you kill the card because you kill this card i think druid is an incredibly rough spot outside of aggro druid which is pretty solid but more solid just because of the meta situation right now but regardless Guff, I would probably just put him to six. See what that type of incremental change will do. We saw what it did to Carriel for Paladin. Paladin has been irrelevant basically since then, because if it feels like you couple it with, uh, you know, gain an empty mana crystal, the card could kind of die. But maybe you just do five mana and gain an empty mana crystal, or there's the other nerf suggestion I've seen of set your maximum mana to 15 rather than 20. There's a lot of options they can go with. I just think it's important that they go with something because I think Guff is just, he's too good. He's too powerful. He's too meta warping. And it just feels hopeless when your opponent plays them extremely early. And maybe giving those decks just a tiny bit more time to get their game plan in will make the difference. Priest is also relatively top tier, but you know what? Even as the guy who can't stand Priest and all that, I actually don't think you nerf anything for Priest White right now. So we're gonna go straight to the neutral section. And there are two neutrals that I do think should get addressed. And believe it or not, Neotar, the card that I said was a necessary evil in the meta, I I've changed my mind. It's just driving me crazy in every format I play it. It is just too good at four mana to just steal a great card. It is the most frustrating experience in the world. And it's not even bad tempo because it's a four mana three, three, take a crazy card. It could steal a Denathrius, it could steal a hero card, and compared to a card like Mutinous, which can just eat a minion, to me, it's just way too cheap a card to have this benefit. I don't think you gotta kill it. I think it's a valid tech option. I just think it needs to come a bit more with a price, make it harder to couple with brand, things like that. I've argued for it to be six mana, but maybe just a five mana, three, three, or four, four. Maybe that's okay, but I do think this card being in like 50% of decks right now in standard is a bit much for a card that creates that much frustration when you face it. And the last neutral and the last card for standard I have to suggest is Sire Denathrius. This card, basically when I'm playing standard right now, it's like, do I lose to Denathrius? Do I lose to Theotar? Or do I lose to rogue stealth minions and a giant weapon? Those are my options. That's literally it. And I feel like most people are already sick of every single time they keep clearing the board, they're trying Trying to win the board, they just die from Denathrius. The game is over. I just think the card ramps up way too well. I do think Bran is the bigger problem here, but I don't think they're going to rotate him to wild soon. And you certainly don't nerf Bran because of Denathrius, in my opinion. So what would I do? I have argued for endlessly infused two, but you know, maybe that kills the card. I don't know. It's what I would argue for, but maybe just taking the first five damage where it just doesn't have the deal five is enough to slow it down. I just think its payoff is way too easy to OTK with, especially when you compare it to like old cards like Cthune, Mechathune, Malagos, all those like finishers. They required some setup. This guy, you need to kill off some minions and then you kind of just kill your opponent with Brand Kilfoss, and it's just insane. So I do think Denathrius should be slowed down. I do think it's a cool card. I think it should be relevant. I just don't think it should still reliably OTK that often. And I'll give a quick shout out to Wild. I do think this quest needs to go away and be like, cast eight mage spells so it's not coins but at the end of the day i think i need to do a whole wild video because i don't think one or two nerfs is gonna really solve the problem of wild hell wild's actually kind of pretty diverse right now it's just every deck and strategy you face is kind of disgusting and degenerate and uh i guess that'll be my plug for tomorrow i'm gonna have our first ever podcast on the channel with two different guests it's gonna be a pilot episode see what you guys think of it we're gonna talk about wild we're gonna talk about standard all sorts of news make sure to tune in for that and if it's a success we'll continue to do it every week so anyways that's a little teaser for tomorrow if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends